if you don't ask, it can't be given. And when you ask in a demanding way, then you don't let it in. If you ask in a guilty way, then you don't let it in. You got to ask in an expectant way. I think my girls are enjoying growing up. I think my girls are enjoying becoming self-sufficient. I think my girls are going to really like knowing that they are center of the universe. I think my girls are really going to thrive when they discover how much can come to them with such ease. You're wadded up here isn't because you think you're working too hard. It's because you are not in sync with what your inner being knows that you want. You're not teaching thriving. You're teaching hardship. And you want to teach thriving. You want to teach glad to be up. Glad to see everybody in the morning. Glad to be alive in this new day. Glad to anticipate what this day is. Glad to be tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Glad to be eager to get off on our way. Glad to have this day. Glad to have the now and 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 the now. The empowering now, the empowering now, the intoxicating now, the thrilling now, the interesting now, the fun now, the good timing now. That's what you want for you and it's what you want for them too, you see. But you can't give to somebody what you haven't gotten for yourself. If you're not living that, you can't teach it. And so you feel how you feel and how you feel is what you get. How do you feel? I feel tired, Abraham. And I feel overwhelmed and I feel overworked and I feel underappreciated and I feel undervalued and I feel like nobody gets me and I feel like I'm working too hard and I feel like I don't even want to get out of bed. That's how I feel. So fast forward. How do you feel? I feel energized, Abraham. I feel tuned in, tapped in, turned on. I feel enlivened by the laws of the universe. I feel enlivened about the possibilities for this day. I feel thrilled that my girls are taking hold of life the way they are. I feel thrilled that life is calling them when they're off at school and when they're off with their friends. I feel excited about the changes that are taking place in me. I can hardly wait until I wake up and want to get up. I can hardly wait until I wake up and it's early enough that nobody even knows that I'm awake and I can quietly get off to myself and tune myself into my power before I even meet any of them. And when they meet me, I'm empowered, which means I love them so much. I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on. I love them. I know them. I devour them. I'm so proud of them. I'm so eager about them. Make your own breakfast, girls. <laughs> See how it goes? It's not all at once and it's not that easy, but you heard it. You heard it and you got it and so did you all. Words don't matter very much, but we say a lot anyway. <laughs> this is the energy that creates worlds that you're tapping into. And you came knowing that you were a vessel through which it could flow. And you knew that your environment would inspire your desire. And that when it did, the matching energy would be available to you. And if you just aren't doing that thing you do where you're defending or justifying if you're just saying ah I'm alive I'm a human I'm a creator and I got non-physical energy at my fingertips and I can tell when I'm letting it flow through me because I feel excited I feel energized I feel eager I feel happy I feel funny I feel good timing and it doesn't take more than a conversation just like this before you start noticing it you start noticing it you started out can you remember your opening question to us how do I even know that what was your question curious what it's curious like, but it's yeah. more than curiosity or we wouldn't have got all riled up <laughs> so you're curious about what can't even find it now can it's, you I just don't even want to go there yeah it's illogical it doesn't even make any sense curious about what was it in the simplicity of what you're saying of just the life force energy in itself I mean that's I understand that a really good way to consciously tune in to your knowing of the existence of this source energy and of your connection to it is to think and feel think and feel so choose someone and just make a soft list of their positive aspects and just feel how good it feels Esther's daughter told Esther just 
yesterday or the day before the most wonderful story she's the team mother for her son's basketball team which means she gathers up some food sometimes for them or whatever keeps them in the loop about information dissemination and things like that and she really enjoys it she really likes it and then things got a little busy and there was some confusion and some demands that were being made all at the same time and she got feeling a little taken advantage of just for a minute and then it's the last basketball game and so she's sort of complaining to her mother about what she's got to do today going to gather up this and 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 as she was visiting with Esther Esther could feel her shifting into some enthusiasm about what she was going to do and she was talking about getting some gift bags and putting the cookie in them and a gift card it was appreciation for the boys on the team and the more she focused in appreciation the more she came back into alignment with who she was and suddenly it was obvious that she felt better and Esther barely said a word she just talked herself out of alignment and then back into alignment <laughs> and it was a lovely thing to witness and then she sent a text to her mother that made Esther weep with joy she said mom I forgot how good it feels to appreciate I forgot because it felt to her like she had all the reasons to complain well there's always reasons to complain it's just that your inner being never does that so every time you do you lose your life force you lose your clarity oh you could be very well right we're not saying you're making stuff up we're just saying you're choosing to focus upon the stuff that's part of your reality Esther has such a good friend she's a comedian on a cruise ship and she's often on a cruise ship and she often talks with Esther and she came back from one of the cruises and Esther's saying how was it and she said oh she said there was a stage manager that did not have a clue what he was doing and Esther thought dun 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 <laughs> and Esther said yes and Esther said and so did you try to teach him what to do and she said yes I did <laughs> and Esther said how did that work out and she said not well at all <laughs> and afterward we were visiting with Esther about it and we said she is not the stage manager she is one of the acts on the stage but she is not the stage manager and she is also not the law of attraction and you are not the stage manager of your kids and you are not the creator of their lives and you are not their inner being and you are not the law of attraction you are a participant in the play that you are playing together and you are someone who has the ability to tune to the best or the worst of anything that's in your gaze and when you practice it's easiest when they're not there when you practice feeling the best of them until that's just where you go and you know we know it's there if we had to pick the vibration that is the most dominant your love for them is intensely there but it doesn't matter what your law of averages is it's what's active in the moment this is not the law of averages this is not the median emotion this is what I've got active right here and now in relationship with what they've got active right here and right now and law of attraction is going to match you up with the best of each other or the worst of each other depending on what you've got going on how old are they seven and nine so let's just say that they're not so caught up in negative things so much but they've got things going on a lot of competition between each other and stuff like that but let's just say that not so tuned in tapped in turned on maybe even been squabbling a little bit but you you have risen above that because you've practiced seeing them as their inner beings see them and as your inner being sees them and so you're holding clear on what's active in your vibration you know what we were saying earlier this is such a good way to get this turning thoughts to things T T T T turning thoughts to things turning thoughts to things turning thoughts to things so you've been turning some thoughts to things you've been basking and loving and positively expecting and feeling good in those thoughts 
and they can't buck that current it's like if you're really there but most people are not really there most people have a mixed bag yes you love them turning thoughts to things and yes they annoy the hell out of you turning thoughts to things in other words there's a lot of it going on you've got a mixed bag you want to clarify your bag you want to decide who you are in their relationship are you going to deprive them of exposure to experience never you never want to do that are you going to root for them every step of the way like their inner being does yes you are can't you just hardly wait to get home and practice this and watch what happens isn't it going to be fun to connect these dots isn't it going to be fun to notice that you tried but didn't make it and so nothing changed and you tried again and didn't make it and nothing changed but then you really got the feeling of it you were really feeling of it you had a day where you could almost write pages and pages of things about it you felt it so strong and then one of the mothers of one of their friends gives you a compliment about your boys or one of their teachers says something really strong about that and you think man look what I'm attracting already I've activated in myself the best of who I know them to be and now others are seeing it too and the evidence is all around and then they start feeling your only we started to say utter or dominant but we want to say they begin to feel your only vibration about them the one that dominates all things I see you I know you I love you I believe in you and this moment in time is really quite irrelevant in the whole scheme of who you are my relationship with you is a relationship of upliftment yeah <laughs> Terry thought how much fun it would be to write a book from children's point of view because he really thinks that the kids know it they know what's important they know what's important it seems so odd to them imagine you're born just a short seven years ago boom you're in your room ah you're alive and full of ideas tear this up tear this up tear this up make the big just and then dun 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 <laughs> somebody has a different idea of what life is it's like put things away get them out of sight shouldn't they all be out here ready for me to play with them I have I an impulse yeah okay fair enough if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next